Hello there folks, I'm the Lon Chaney Reviewer, and welcome to Silent Film Saturday, episode number 21. And the previous two episodes were Outside the Law and Shadows, which won a recent poll that I created to see what the next episode of Silent Film Saturday was going to be, and the runner-ups would follow that episode. This is the first runner-up, Harold Lloyd's 1924 romantic comedy, Girl Shy. Now let me explain something about this DVD packaging. Obviously, you, have, you see Safety Last on the cover. Well, what's the deal with that? Well, let me explain. This was a New Line Cinema's uh, DVD release of the film, released, I want to guess, maybe eight years ago. Eight or nine years ago. And this, was the, this DVD was a part of a set, a uh, three-volume set, which contained a bunch of Harold Lloyd films. It's a very good set, in my opinion. Um, I own the set. And uh, this particular DVD includes Safety Last, An Eastern Westerner, Ask Father, Girl Shy, which is the film I'm talking about today, From Hand to Mouth, very charming uh, short, uh, the, the talkie films Cat's Paw and the Milky Way, a featurette about the um, the Hollywood of Harold Lloyd, like the locations of Harold Lloyd's films, and the comedy Why Worry. Very good film, in my opinion. And that's why I have Girl Shy on here. It's a sticky note. So, Girl Shy. I'm aware of that problem, and hopefully Criterion will release uh, eventually a very good Blu-ray of the film, which the print of this film is very good, and I like to say without... Um, Going any further, uh, the music by Robert Israel is rather good and is very effective for the romantic, uh, romantic comedy story of the film. Our main character, played by Harold Lloyd, of course, is a stuttering tailor who is very uncomfortable around women, and because of this, decides to write a book ab um, about his false persona that charms women in different ways. And this is my favorite scene in the film when he's typing, he on his t old typewriter and. You see him, uh, how he deals with vamps, and how he deals with flappers, and it presents us an image of Harold Lloyd as a fan, not only a good comedic actor, but really a fantastic dramatic actor. He could play play these uh, these caricatures uh, very well, whilst also playing this stuttering, uh, this stuttering, very shy character of Harold Meadows, and he tries to get this book published as well. Along the way, he meets a girl played by Jabina Ralston, who is probably my favorite Harold Lloyd leading lady, to be honest. Uh, she's very charming in the film. She's a rich girl who's uh, constantly getting proposed by this this other guy. I'm just going to call him this other guy because you hate him. So let's face it, that's how this these types of romantic comedies work. And it's a very charming relationship between Jabina Ralston and Harold Lloyd's character. They meet up on a train, and it's, you know, they're talking with each other, and they each keep a memento of uh, that fateful train ride. Harold Lloyd keeps um, a dog biscuit box because he, because uh, Jabina Ralston's character has a pet dog, and Jabina Ralston keeps a box of Cracker Jacks that Harold Lloyd bought her. Very charming, and they, it's a very effective uh, device uh, in the film, and the relationship is very genuine, very... I think very, I don't want to say adorable, but yeah, kind of adorable. It's very charming and uh, really quite beautiful. One, this has to be one of my favorite films I've reviewed on Silent Film Saturday thus far. And I haven't seen the film uh, in two years, and rewatching it again this week was a real genuine pleasure. And that's one of my favorite parts of Silent Film Saturday, is re-examining the films that I haven't seen in quite some time. So that's quite nice. Now... Of course, like I said, he tries to get his book published, and everybody laughs at the book, the book publishers, and they think it's ridiculous, but they decide to get a different angle with it, and they say, you know what, we're going to release this as The Boob's Diary, and uh, it's kind of funny because it's like, he, they send him a check for $3,000, and when he realizes this, he's just like, no, I don't want to compromise my art, I didn't do this for the money, and obviously he's doing he's doing it so he can support uh, Jabina Ralston, but also... You know, it's kind of funny with an artist, it's like, oh, we're, we're willing to release this, but we're going to have to edit it or change something about it. And I, I find it, it's kind of amusing. It's like, no, I'm not willing to compromise my vision. 
because this book was meant to be something different. It's supposed to it was supposed to help young men cope with women, but instead it's actually just a book that's really funny, genuinely. The another beautiful scene of the film is when they meet up again. Uh, it's in Little Ben, and her car her car goes off the road, and you know her the other guy has to get a, to a guy to tow the car, and. She and Harold meet up. It's a very beautiful scene. It's by a little lake, and she goes on this, steps on this board in the lake by accident, and drifts off. And then she bumps into the little um, boat that Harold Lloyd's in. And it's a very, very. I, I, I keep using the word charming, but it's very, be, quite beautiful. How they meet up again, and they're, you know, they're talking, and it's, it's just quite nice. The end of the film is a. Th this is one of the best third acts I've ever seen, or at least one of the most action-packed, because. Harold Lloyd has to prevent the marriage of uh, Jabina Ralston to this other guy. So he literally goes on cars, trolley cars, horse carriages, trains, chasing after trains, um, jump, you know, almost running into old ladies and pushing and shoving things, going and meeting up with bootleggers and every, everything under the horizon. Uh, is looked at in this third act. It's a very, very intense act as the marriage is almost about to progress and he he's trying so desperately and so hard to prevent this marriage from happening. And it's, it's genuinely exciting. It's a film that's almost 90 years old and to watch something that's very compelling and very exciting gets me very disappointed with a lot of action films of today because a lot of the action films of today are just don't have that that kind of tension. And I think part of that has to do with the fact that we like the characters so much in Girl Shy. The two, you know, Jabina Ralston's character of the uh, the rich girl and Harold Lloyd's uh, poor boy. And it works, I guess, it works effectively. Uh, you can, this DVD I think is out of print, but you might be able to find a cheaper copy of it used. I think it's a really decent DVD uh, with some decent, uh, of, it has other films on the DVD, so that helps in terms of supplements. Not really much in terms of supplements for this film, except an alternate organ score, which I'm not the biggest fan of organ scores, but I really like, like I said last week, I like the organ score for Shadows. Um, but yeah, I love Girl Shy. Um, it's a really, really beautiful romantic comedy, and I think you should check it out. Next week on Silent Film Saturday, the next runner-up, I shall be discussing the, another film from 1924, this time of a more epic nature, the Douglas Fairbanks production, The Thief of Baghdad. I'll see you next week.